Hi everyone, I'm Kyle Lyon. Uh, I'm a pre-sales engineer here at Solutions PT, and today we're going to be going over some basic deployment features in System Platform, and namely that's the distribution of your compute power across your platforms and the creation of redundant engines. What I've got here is I have a existing Galaxy that I've created. Uh, if I minimize this, we've got a dev node that I've been doing my testing on. And if I go to my model, you can see that I've created a model uh, of a small bakery, which we'll be using as a basis for this. So I've been doing this all on a dev machine. Now what I want to do is I want to put this into runtime. So to do that, I need to create a new platform. And we'll call it runtime. Then I'll go in and let it know the machine name of the computer that this platform is going to be deployed to. So I'm going to call this runtime. Hit save. And we've created a new platform. Then if I go into my unassigned host folder here, I have an engine ready made that I'm going to drag over to my runtime, which is going to allow me to host my objects uh, and my various other pieces on this. So if I just close that and drag all of these over onto here, you can say that's fine. And you can see that what's happened now is all that hierarchy has now been transferred over onto my new runtime machine ready to be deployed. And that is just as, as simple as it gets in how you create a platform, start distributing load. Obviously I could create multiple of these, split load out, but this is a very small system right now. So we'll just do it on the, on the one platform for now. So the next thing is creating redundant engines. So in order to have redundancy, uh, say in the event that this runtime machine fails, I'm gonna to need to create another platform and we'll call it backup. And again, we'll open this up, let it know where it's pointing at. So I'll give it the machine name of backup. Now, importantly, when you are setting up redundancy, what you would want to do is have a local redundancy IP address set up here. And what this is, it'll, it'll provide a means for the platforms that are gonna be redundant to communicate with each other and, and determine their operational status. So, you know, if one goes down, it can communicate um, through the IP address and let it know that let the other node know that it's not currently running. But for the purposes of this, we're going to leave that as blank for now. OK, so now we've got backup done. What I want to do is I want to create a redundant engine of this that's currently hosting everything. So to do that, simply all I need to do is open up the engine, go over to the redundancy tab, and simply enable redundancy. Now I can tweak a few of these parameters here if I want, uh, things like how long do I want a disconnect between the platforms to be in effect before the redundancy takes over, things like that. But for the purpose of this, I'm gonna leave it as default. That's fine, I can hit save confirmation there and check this in. And then you'll see that we, our icon is now slightly changed and we've got a new object in our unassigned host which is engine one backup. If I drag this to my backup machine, what this will do now is when this is in runtime, if this machine fails, all the load that's currently on engine 01 will automatically be transferred over to engine 01 backup. Simple as that. So that's all we we're gonna go over today. So hopefully you learned something and have a good day.